The movie starts with a young girl named Adele on her way to school. In school, Adele's friends tell her that a boy named Thomas keeps on looking at her. Her friends tell her that Thomas is totally into her. Adele blushes, but she tries to deny it. Her friends tell her that they are obviously into each other. The next day, as Adele is riding the bus on the way home, Thomas sits beside her. The two engage in a conversation and Adele tells Thomas that she's a junior, while Thomas says he's a senior. Thomas tells Adele that after high school, he wants to pursue music. Thomas says that he will play Adele his kind of music so that they will have a reason to meet again. Adele simply agrees. The next day, while Adele is crossing the pedestrian lane, she notices a girl with short blue hair. They both exchange glances as they walk past each other and Adele seems to have a strong emotion during this moment. Adele continues walking until she arrives at the park where Thomas has been waiting for her. The tweet together before watching a movie at the cinema. The next morning, in school, Adele's friends are asking her if something happened to her and Thomas during their date yesterday. Adele says no, but her friends don't believe her. So she walks away. Thomas sees her and follows her. Thomas admits to Adele that he likes her a lot, and Adele kisses him. Afterwards, the two are seen having a sexy time together. The following day, Adele ends things with Thomas because she feels like she's sad and it's not because of Thomas, but because of something within herself. Thomas cries and leaves. One day, while Adele is smoking on the school grounds, one of her friends named Beatrice sits beside her and joins her in smoking. A girl passes by them and Beatrice tells Adele that the girl is cute. Beatrice tells Adele that she's cute, too. Adele blushes and Beatrice leans over her and kisses her. The next day, Adele finds Beatrice in the girl's bathroom and she kisses her immediately. Beatrice tells Adele that what happened between them yesterday is only a spur of the moment kind of thing. Beatrice apologizes to her and leaves. This leaves Adele disappointed and furious. She walks by her friends, but she does not pay them attention. She passes by her friend named Valentine, who brings her to a local club to party. Valentine introduces Adele to his friends and then invites her to dance, but Adele declines, saying that she'll finish her drink first. Adele eventually walks out of the club and chances upon another club full of women kissing other women. Adele walks inside and orders a bottle of beer. Then, she makes eye contact with the blue-haired girl that she has noticed when crossing the pedestrian lane before. A woman tries hitting up on Adele, telling her that she would like to buy her a drink. Then, the blue-haired girl interferes with them, claiming that Adele is her cousin. The woman leaves Adele and the blue-haired girl alone. The girl, who introduces herself as Emma, asks Adele what she is doing in the bar alone. Adele answers that she happens to be in this bar by chance, which Emma laughs at. Emma tells Adele that an underage girl who drinks at night like her is rare inside the bar. Adele introduces herself to Emma. Emma tells Adele that she's currently a fourth-year student studying fine arts. Adele says that she's currently in high school doing French literature. Eventually, Emma's girlfriend named Sabine, along with their other friends, arrive at the bar. Emma introduces Adele to her friends as her cousin. Emma is being invited by her friends to join them clubbing in Belgium. Emma asks Adele about the high school she goes to and then leaves. Adele also leaves the club afterwards. One day, Adele sees Emma waiting for her at her school. Emma invites her for a drink, to which Adele agrees. Adele's friends ask her if she knows Emma, but she ignores them and the two walk away. In the park, Emma sketches Adele. Adele asks Emma how long she and Sabine have been together, and Emma says that they've been together for about two years. Adele gives her number to Emma, and Emma kisses her on the cheek before leaving. The next day it's cool. Adele meets up with her friends and her friends start grilling her about Emma. Adele tells them that she met Emma in a cafe. Her friends claim that Adele and Valentine went to a gay club the other night, which is obviously where Adele met Emma. Adele denies this claim, but Valentine confirms that in fact, they went to the club the other night. Adele's friends start calling her lesbian and want her to admit that she's one, until it ensues into a big fight. Valentine pulls Adele away from the commotion. Later that day, Adele accompanies Emma inside an art museum. Emma glances at each art piece thoroughly and afterwards, they decide to hang out in a park. As the two lie on the ground, tension begins to arise between them as Adele leans to Emma for a kiss. During the night, Adele and Emma are seen having an intimate time together. Several days after, Emma introduces Adele to her family. Emma's parents give Adele a warm welcome, and they say that they've heard a lot of great things about her. They proceed to eat dinner together. Adele tells everyone that she wants to be a teacher because school is very important to her as it teaches her a lot of things, and she wants to return the favor. Emma's parents say that they admire Adele for knowing what she really wants to do with her life. On Adele's birthday, her family and friends surprised her at their home. The people drink, dance, and party. One night, Adele invites Emma to their house for dinner. Adele's mother welcomes Emma warmly as well. Adele introduces Emma as someone who's helping her with her philosophy lessons and that she is taking an arts degree. Adele's father says that it's hard living off of art and paintings, and he asks Emma about her boyfriend. Emma lies and says that her boyfriend works in business. Later that night, the two are seen having an intimate time once more. The following morning, Emma is seen painting Adele. Over several years, Adele is now seen working as a nursery teacher as she reads a book to the kids. 
Afterwards, Adele teaches the kids to dance and guards them as they play outside. While guarding the kids, one of Adele's colleagues named Dan Tuon invites her to grab some beer with them later that night. Adele declines, saying that she has a family dinner tonight. Samia does not believe and says that Adele has been having a lot of family dinners and claims that Adele is avoiding her friends. Adele denies the claim and tells Antuan that she'll try to free up some time for them. One day, Adele is seen preparing dishes for Emma's reunion with her friends. It appears that the two of them have moved in together as well. As Emma's friends start to arrive, Adele welcomes them. One man compliments Adele's stunning poses in Emma's paintings. Adele humbly says that she does not really bring much to the painting, but it's all because Emma paints beautifully. While the group is drinking together, Emma tells everyone how thankful she is for them and especially for Adele. Emma tells her friends that Adele is the one that cooked the food. The whole group cheers for Adele and everyone have a toast together. Adele cooks pasta for everyone and she starts serving pasta to Emma's friends. She continues to serve everyone until a man named Samia asks her to sit down and eat since she's been entertaining the guests for the whole day. Samia puts a serving of pasta on Adele's plate and Emma looks from afar. Samia asks if Adele has been posing for paintings before. Adele tells him that she doesn't have any experience in posing for paintings only for Emma since she feels safe around her. Then, Samia asks if Adele has been dating girls for a long time. Adele tells him no and that Emma is her first girlfriend. Adele tells Samia that she currently teaches at a nursery school because she likes kids. Samia asks Adele if she wants to have kids in the future. Adele simply nods her head. The night falls deeper and Adele and Samia are seen dancing together. Adele notices that Emma and another girl named Lies have been talking very close together. After the party, Emma tells Adele that she should write short stories because she loves writing and Emma wants Adele to do something that makes her happy. Adele tells Emma that she's happy teaching nursery kids and cooking for Emma, but Emma tells her that it's not the kind of happiness that she meant. Before they go to sleep, Adele asks Emma if Lies is her ex. Emma doesn't answer the question and only says that Lies paints, too. The following day, as Adele arrives home from work, she receives a voice message from Emma, telling her that she'll be coming home late because Lies and she is still working on a big job together. After hearing the message, a frustrated and lonely Adele decides to go out and party. At the party, she sees her colleague Anne Tuon and the two dance together. The two of them got drunk until they make out together. Their affair becomes consistent after that. One night, Anne Tuon drops off Adele to her apartment and they make out before Adele gets out the car. Inside the apartment, Emma catches Adele lying when she says that a girl dropped her off. Emma tells Adele that she is not stupid and she saw that a guy dropped Adele off. Adele tells Emma that the guy is only a co-worker that teaches in another class. Emma starts to get angry as she asks Adele how long has she been sleeping with the guy that dropped her off. Adele denies Emma's accusations and Emma calls her a liar. Emma furiously asks Adele to pack her things up and leave because she doesn't want a liar. Adele starts crying and admits that she has slept with Antoon about two to three times because she feels alone and lonely. Emma asks if she's in love with the guy, but Adele says no. Adele apologizes to Emma and tells her that she does not mean to hurt her. Emma tells Adele that it's too late because she has already hurt her and she will never forgive Adele. Emma orders Adele to pack her things up and leave. Adele resists until Emma pushes her out of the place. Adele walks on the streets heavily crying. The next day, Adele hangs tight as she teaches in the nursery school. But once the kids are gone, she starts crying. It is evident that she's having a hard time coping with the breakup as she tends to wake up in the middle of the night and smoke. A few years after the breakup, Adele and Emma meet up in a restaurant. Emma is now getting known and popular in the painting scene, and she has been organizing a couple of art shows here and there. Adele tells Emma that she's doing well, and she's handling first grade kids now. She tells Emma that she currently doesn't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. She's happy, but she's alone. Emma tells Adele that she's happy as well. She's currently with Lies and they have a three-year-old child together. Emma admits that being with Lies is different from how it is with Adele. Adele tells Emma how much she misses her and they kiss. Emma stops them from kissing and tells Adele that she does not love her anymore and she's already with someone new. The two hug each other before Emma leaves. One day, Adele is seen dressing up and walking to an event that happens to be one of Emma's art shows. Emma acknowledges her, but she gets occupied soon with other guests. Adele wanders around the event and chances upon Lies, who points her to Emma's painting of her still hanging on the wall. Adele sees Samia and they both catch up with each other. A man pulls away Samia for a moment, and Adele decides to leave the event. Samia notices that Adele is already gone and runs after her, but he runs in the opposite direction, never getting the chance to talk to Adele again. The movie just ends abruptly like that. It's just like real life. Sometimes relationships end and there's no happy ending like we usually see in movies. Have you ever felt like Adele? Or were you more of an Emma? Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.